Hey there, YouTubers. I wanted to talk just a little bit about what I consider kind of the intersection, like the Venn diagram intersection of gaming and planning. Because when you do a game planet, right, you have to terraform it, the whole planet, in a hurry. And there's usually randomization involved and therefore algorithms. So you have parameters. Maybe you give the user some control. It depends what kind of game we're talking about. A lot of games you're not interested in giving the user a lot of work just to start playing. So there might be add-ons or plugins for creating new quote levels. But the out-of-the-box experience, as we used to say, is you just start playing right away. But you need a floor plan, you need rooms, you need a topology and re realism and a look and feel, feel. And so the game, if it has like a medieval feel or a Dark Ages feel, the algorithms are going to generate this or that. But the game doesn't predetermine necessarily the layout. So how do we apply this to city planning like, or just terrain planning? Say we survey and we have a given landscape, so we feed that in, and then we want to decorate it with a smattering and kind of a fractal pattern of tents and yurts. So tents we'll call rectangles and yurts will be circles. And actually, a yurt can be pretty big, in which case it really looks more like a geodesic dome, but we still just call it a yurt. Or it can be cylindrical, hanging hanging on a pole, like a Dymaxion house, another kind of yurt. And then we have tents, which could be really big. They could be cooking tents. Um, they serve thousands of people or hundreds of people. I don't know. It depends how big your village is, right? So we create these villages uh, for real and have these sort of theme park things going. So it's kind of like Westworld, but we're we're up front that we're nowhere close to that in terms of bots. Like none of the people at this camp are really secretly robots. We don't even try to make you believe that because we're not there to lie about technology. We're there to show really we don't really have that great technology. A lot of it is about getting better with our technology. So I'm not about, these are not showcases of utopias. These are works in progress where we could say the work is to prototype stuff and share what you've learned. So you're not just sitting around if you don't want to be. If that's something you need to do, uh, we don't say that's not working. But that's a whole other discussion about what is work. I tend to take the physics view. Expend, expenditure of energy. All right, we'll talk soon. Um, the city generator, by the way, is something you can take a look at. The, the floor plan I'm talking about in this case is not a whole planet. Like I say, we just feed it a terrain somewhere in Montana, somewhere in high desert Oregon, and say, show us a campus. And kaboom, we've got something that then we can show, right? So something like a game, but more like a city plan. All right, talk to you soon.